Okay. What's up guys, Brady here, and recently Snapchat released a pretty major update to its app. So in this video, I'm just gonna go through my opinion on it from using it, what I think Snapchat is trying to accomplish with this update, and of course, how to actually use it. So for those of you who don't remember, Snapchat actually announced this update months ago. So back in December, Snapchat announced in a video on their YouTube channel that they were moving towards a more creator versus private orientation in their app. So basically what they said they'd be doing is aggregating all the creators in their own tab on the right and moving your friend's Snapchat stories into a more private kind of aggregated category on the left. Now this does come in light of pretty much every social media platform copying Snapchat essentially with their stories feature and you saw that especially with Instagram which did introduce their own Instagram stories feature and went on to further pretty much copy all of Snapchat. But they were successful with this because Instagram already had a great platform for building and growing your audience. So I personally really started putting more work into my Instagram page about a year ago. And in that time, I've gone from 49 followers to over 5k. And back in August of 2017, around a year or so after Instagram had introduced this feature, they did come out and announce that the new platform edition had been a huge success with over 250 million daily Instagram story users. Just think about that for a minute. 250 million people every day use Instagram stories. They also said that people under age 25 spent an average of 32 minutes per day on Instagram stories. That's more than an entire episode of Seinfeld every day. So basically the problem with Snapchat is that they don't have this massive platform where you can discover new users and build your following. So what I think Snapchat's trying to address with this major redesign is that issue. Snapchat is trying to make a platform where you can be discovered, hence mixing Snapchat Discover with the stories of their creators. But there are some potential issues with this approach. In moving all of your friends' stories over to a separate tab and putting a spotlight on public creators, Snapchat could risk making its users feel somewhat alienated and less legitimate than people with public stories. And this is kind of the reason why this update's gotten such negative press. Think about it. While before I could swipe right and see all of my friends' stories listed, now in that place I see creators. And in order to view my friends, I have to swipe left into my private conversation tabs. This just doesn't feel as intuitive and honestly feels just a little bit degrading. But there are some positives to this update. In making Snapchat a more discoverable platform like this, Snapchat is essentially making it more possible to discover new users, new creators, and possibly to even make a living as a Snapchat creator much like YouTube. So not long before announcing this major change, Snapchat actually announced that they would be paying creators by 2018. And last I checked, it's 2018. And if this does pan out, this is a major shift for Snapchat as a platform. Snapchat already has many high profile users in the form of people like Ty Lopez, Sean Duras, Yes Theory, and numerous other YouTubers big and small, including yours truly, Snapcode right here, scan it or add me at RealBradyJordan, feel free, shameless plug. So overall, what do I think of this update? Overall, I actually think it's kind of a good thing. While there definitely are some kinks to be worked out with this update, such as how they've sort of mixed the private chat tab with the stories tab in kind of a weird way. I do think that this is actually a great thing for Snapchat as a platform because in the long run this will allow for more content discovery and of course it will be much more doable to be a full-time Snapchat creator. So now that I've sort of talked about what I think of this update and where I think they're going with it, let's jump over and see how to actually use this update. Okay, so when you open the Snapchat app, the first thing you'll notice is that there are now two different tabs. So when you swipe right, this tab is essentially a collection of curated content creators, popular stories, and official creators with public stories. But this is also mixed in with Snapchat Discover feeds. So one cool thing about this is it does feature popular and up and coming creators such as this one right here. And from there you can subscribe to their feed. And you do have your search tab up here as well and your story in the top left. Okay, so now going over to the left tab. Okay, so I am blurring this out because there are probably some people I have in my friends tab that don't want to be blasted all over YouTube, but basically this is a mixture of their stories on the left and the messages that they send you on the right. So essentially their stories are not in the creator's feed, but rather mixed in with your private messages. And other Snapchat accessories such as these Snap Spectacles still works the same way pretty much for the most part. You can swipe up and view them in your memories, so everything is still there as it was. And to view your stories, you would of course just tap it in the top left here, which does bring down this new tab and my snap code, feel free to scan that right now. And this does of course have some new additions to Bitmojis with tons of new hairstyles and facial hairstyles as well. 
So yeah, that's pretty much how the new Snapchat works. All right, so those were my thoughts on the new Snapchat update and how to actually use it. So if you enjoyed this video or even found it helpful, definitely consider leaving a like below. And of course, if you do want to see more content like this from me in the future, definitely consider hitting that red subscribe button below. And until next time, this has been Brady Jordan with Clipplay TV, bringing you quality tech and entertainment videos. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.